Tati Gabriel is a rising star who's been making a name for herself in Hollywood since her breakout role as Gaia in the CW's post-apocalyptic drama The 100. Since then, she's continued to grace our screens with more colorful, courageous characters like Chilling Adventures of Sabrina's Prudence Blackwood and many more, who not only left an impact on their series, but also on fans' hearts. Most recently, you've probably seen her doing double duty on Netflix, both appearing as Marianne in the hit series You, as well as on Kaleidoscope as Hannah Kim. Despite how often you may see Tati on screen, there's a lot about her you don't know, such as her parents' backgrounds and her unique upbringing, just full of culture, as well as where she went to school. We'll talk about all of this, Tati's rise to fame, and more here for you on Famous Life. Tatiana Gabrielle Hobson was born on January 25th, 1986 in San Francisco, California. She's one of three children born to Tracy and Terry Hobson. Her father is African-American, while her mother, Tracy Hewitt, was born in Korea to a Korean woman and African-American soldier. At age four, her mother was adopted by an African-American military family that was stationed in Japan at the time. As you'll find later, Tati draws on this part of her family background and Korean culture for certain acting roles. Although her environment was predominantly African-American, Gabrielle and her siblings could still get a taste of Korean culture in their everyday lives thanks to their mother who held on to her Korean background even though she was adopted. As a result, Tati grew up eating kimchi and doing the Korean martial art taekwondo. While her mom grew up in Virginia with a family who didn't speak Korean, Tati's mom still made sure to instill pride in her children about their Korean heritage and pass it on. Tati spoke about this saying, My mom was not able to give us Korean-specific culture and language herself, but strongly strongly urged us to seek and explore more of our Korean heritage through our lives. That's exactly what we did. I remember being very proud, even as a child, to be not just Asian, but Korean. Not only did Tati learn more about her Korean heritage, she's also been enthusiastically learning the language as well since she was a child. Tati began acting in the third grade in an adaptation of Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, where she played the main role. She auditioned for Oakland School of the Arts in middle school and was accepted into their theater program. She has performed in and directed several productions and has won multiple awards for her work at various theater festivals, including the Edinburgh Festival Fringe in Scotland. Tati's interest in the performing arts was already going full force, and she was involved in various school plays and community theater productions. Her passion for acting continued to grow, and she eventually decided to pursue it as a career. Tati graduated from Oakland School for the Arts with 3.7 GPA. She moved to Atlanta after high school to attend Spelman College, where she majored in drama and French. Gabrielle's first credit was under the name Tatiana Hobson in the 2014 short film To Stay the Sword. In 2015, Gabrielle moved to LA and that same year she starred in the short film Tatra Demolian and the 2016 TV film Just Jenna as Monique. Her first credit as Tati Gabrielle came in 2016 for her guest role as Wacky Jackie in the Tightrope of Doom episode of the Disney Channel comedy series Casey Undercover. Later that year, Tati also starred in Nickelodeon's The Thundermans in the episode Stealing Home as Hacksaw. In 2015, Tati was in the television series Freakish, produced by Awesomeness TV. She played the role of Birdie, a high school student who was trapped in a school during a chemical explosion. Tati's performance in this series received critical acclaim, and she was praised for her ability to bring depth and complexity to her character. Tati's success in Freakish opened the doors for more acting opportunities, and she soon landed a role in the hit TV series The 100. In 2017, she landed her first recurring role as Gaia on the CW Apocalypse drama The 100. That same year, she was featured in an episode titled Bob of the Hulu anthology series Dimension 404, where she portrayed Amanda's sister. Gabrielle also voiced Addie in the 2017 film The Emoji Movie, her first major film role, and on the TBS animated series Tarantula. Tati's performance in The 100 was well received by audiences and critics alike, and it helped her solidify her status as a rising star in the entertainment industry. In 2018, Tati was cast in the highly anticipated Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Sabrina. She played the role of Prudence, one of the show's main characters, and a member of the Academy of Unseen Arts. Tati's portrayal of Prudence was also widely praised, and she received numerous accolades for her performance, including a nomination for a Saturn Award. One of Tati's most recent roles was in the popular Netflix series, 
you. She joined the show's cast in its second season, playing the role of Marianne, a library archivist who befriends the show's protagonist, Joe Goldberg. Tati's character was a standout in the season, and her performance was widely praised. Tati's journey to landing the role on you was not without its challenges, though. She had to go through a rigorous audition process, which included several rounds of auditions and chemistry reads with other cast members. However, Tati's talent and dedication shone through. She ultimately landed the role. In an interview with Collider, Tati discussed her experience working on you and the challenges of playing Marianne. She explained that she had to approach the character in a very specific way, as Marianne is a complex character with a ton of emotional baggage. Tati worked closely with the show's writers and producers to ensure that she was portraying the character in a way that was authentic and true to the story. You likely also recognize Tati from her role in the 2023 Netflix miniseries Kaleidoscope, where she plays Hannah Kim. This was a role where Tati decided to embrace her Korean background. Kaleidoscope is an eight-part series revolving around a master thief and his team attempting a U.S. $7 billion heist. Gabrielle played a Korean character named Hannah, a triple agent wearing multiple hats. At home, Tati's mother watches Korean dramas and listens to K-pop every day, and Tati enjoys all of that too. The popularity of the Korean culture has provided her with more opportunities in her career to show this side, such as in her role as Hannah. She said about this, It has opened doors to opportunities in which I can freely connect with the richness of my culture beyond the home. Like with Kaleidoscope, I now have these chances to bring my culture into my art effortlessly and without question or confusion. My biggest challenge was trying to find a way to carry all the knowledge that Hannah had and drop small hints along the way without giving too much to the audience. Either way, she was excited to play a character that was her actual ethnicity, Korean and African American. Tati added, And the fact that I play my real ethnicity as Korean American and speak Korean, a choice I made, it was not originally in the script, will hopefully tell them a little about who I am as a person and what I represent, as well as make them proud that I'm doing my best to pay homage to my culture, my ancestors, and my country, despite not having grown up there. Tati has a lot on her plate in the near future and new projects she wants to work on. While she appeared in the fourth season of Psychological thriller series You in February 2023, she has a strong vision for her future too. She revealed in a recent interview that she wants to create impactful art and not only by acting, but also producing, writing, and directing. Tati also said in early 2023, I've got another film coming out later this year called The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat, which I am very excited for. We put a lot of heart and love into that movie. I don't know when that's coming out later this year. I will hopefully be getting my first producing project off the ground this year. I'm producing a series right Right now with my producing partner, which I am very excited about, which I can't say too much about, but we'll be pitching soon and I'll be getting on my producing track. Either way, Tati Gabrielle's proven herself a rising star in the entertainment industry and her talent, dedication, and passion for her craft have made her a force to be reckoned with. As she continues to take on new roles and push the boundaries, there is no doubt that Tati has a bright future ahead of her. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.